Hello everyone, welcome back to my health and fitness channel. Going on with my vaccination series, today I am going to speak about the pulse polio program. I have already spoken about the oral polio. Today I want to give a brief background about pulse polio vaccinations. So this program was started by the government of India in 1995. The background, this was started to ensure that all the missing kids who were not taking polio vaccines coming to the PHCs or the government centers, they should be chased at home and be given these two polio drops. This, they fixed the age group between newborn babies until five years. Now in India, each year about two and a half crore children are born. So which means in five years, there will be 17 crore children who need to be vaccinated. Generally, the pulse polio vaccinations fall in December, January and one of the Sunday is kept as polio vaccination day. Either government directed officers come to the house and give two polio drops to each child and if at all they have not come, people also can go to the nearest PHC or a government center or even private nursing homes and get these two drops of polio done. In 1980s, we had cases in lakhs of children getting polio month on month. This drastically reduced by the pulse polio immunization program and 2011 was the last reported cases of polio. 2014 WHO has declared India as a polio free country. So this is a huge progress in 25 years from being a polio endemic country to a polio free country. Now, however, our neighbors, Pakistan and Afghanistan, both of them are still endemic for polio and still the virus is around. So because we cannot stop people from moving from one place to another, uh, Indians moving abroad or ab abroad people coming to India. So there is always a risk that polio virus can make a comeback. So in regards to this, we continue to give polio vaccines, especially pulse polio vaccines once a year to all the kids less than five years. Apart from this, even in the national immunization program, each child gets polio a zero dose at birth then polio doses at six weeks 10 weeks 14 weeks then at six months nine months one and a half years and five years this ensures that the children are having a sufficient amount of titers to keep the polio virus at bay there are many frequently asked questions because I receive a lot of questions from parents about this pulse polio program. So I want to uh, tell the question and then answer the question. One of the question is, sir, my child has received all the vaccinations. Should I still give the two polio drops? The answer to this question is yes. Even though you have received all the pulse uh, injections, you should give the two polio drops. Sir, my child has cough cold fever today is the polio immunization day can we give our child polio drops again the answer to this question is yes even though your child is suffering from cold or fever your child can still receive the two polio drops then sir we recently had immunizations in a hospital all the injections including polio was given should we still give the vaccine yes even if you have received polio injections or drops either one day or two days back or you are going to receive it in the next couple of days still when you get this pulse polio day you should give your child the two polio drops remember this pulse polio drops are above our immunization drops this does not form a part of the immunization schedule so each and every child in india which is 17 crore children 
should receive this two polio drops so we should ensure this happens on a year on year basis and india continues to be free from this deadly polio disease thank you